Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovation from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Barb Mitchell, joining you today live from Capacity Europe, and I'm joined uh, by Scott Harrison, Director of Sales for KNN Global Filtration. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's, it's our first time chatting on JSA TV, but of course we know KNN well, and, and hopefully most of our viewers do, but we'd love for you to share a little bit uh, more about KNN, if you wouldn't mind, and yourself and your role and, yeah. and all of that. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, so I'm the new boy, actually. So I'm only about uh, six weeks in um, into KNN, but I am a, a young veteran of the uh, the data center market. So my career is uh, about about 20 years. The last 11 years of which were with uh, a company called Geist, and then for Vertiv after acquisition in 2017. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm um, I'm I'm a face in the industry, so to speak, but yeah. but new to KNN. Um, so yeah, I think uh, you know. It's quite interesting having a, having KNN as a as a as a brand in this market because you know we've done a lot of shows this month. You know this is our third major yeah. show in in October. You know and we've still got a week to go. So right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. it's uh, the the most common thing that, that that happens is people come up to come up to us on stands and say like you know what are you guys doing here? And um, you know we've got a very famous and popular brand in uh, performance uh, performance automotive industry. So you know yeah. back fifty year, more than fifty years ago we designed a, a high airflow a high airflow um, washable reusable um, air filter for combustion engines on motorcycles and and uh, and, auto, and performance automotive vehicles. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, no. Fast forward today, and we're in the debt center market. You know, and those same same things still apply. So, high performance, high airflow air filters for the debt center market, um, which reduce the energy uh, the energy of the fans that obviously serve the uh, cooling on the yeah. on the on the floor of the data center. And of course, being washable and reusable, they are highly sustainable as well. Yeah. So, yeah, and obviously, you know, if you there's a cost element involved here. There's another key pain point. In right. that, you know, if you're not replacing these things um, every six to 18 months and these things have got a 15-year life cycle, then um, there are cost and sustainability metrics there as well. Right. So. That makes sense. I mean, mm. so much to, to cover off here. And I mean, we're you mm. said third show in a month. We're yes. not, as you said, we're not even done October yet. And we're here, you know, on the first day, uh, first official day of Capacity Europe. And sure. Lots of conversations already, and I find, I don't know about you, but in the last few shows you've been at just this month and, and probably, you know, over the course of the entire year, sustainability, right, is such a huge topic on everyone's mind. It's it's something that's made its way into the priorities of, of so many companies. Talk a little bit about that. You mentioned it in your, your sort of intro, but if you wouldn't mind talking a little bit more about the solutions that the the Canon solutions and how they help your clients solve that. Sure. Yeah. So su sustainability is obviously a, a very keen and poignant thing for the debt center industry. But yeah. one thing I've been really taken back by in my first uh, first six weeks being out there in, in the market, speaking to uh, to some established debt center customers, but not yeah. just for the debt center, but also for industrial applications like uh, corporate head offices, for example. There is a lot of uh, uh, air filters being used out there. So just yeah. as an example, if you think of a fan wall in a, um, in a hyperscale data center or a large, uh, large co-location data center, um, yeah. you can have hundreds and hundreds. And we've seen up to 550, I think, in, a, in one, just one fan wall. So every single one of those fans has got a filter behind it. Yeah. So um, if you think about that, you know, when you change those filters every six to 18 months, depending on the air quality, um, they all have to go into landfill or incineration. So like a, yeah. it really is quite a huge thing. But the volume is something that's been quite, um, uh, quite alarming, really, for me. Yeah. Um, but not just the uh, just the landfill, you know, the saving side. It's the performance. You know, we've got this fifty years plus of, of being experts in the um, in the air, air filter business. So yeah. we've taken that technology and put it into the debt center application. So we've seen up to 40% um, increases in airflow. Now, what that means is, you know, great, it's air's flowing in a low resistance uh, environments, but the fans behind them are spinning much slower. So they're reducing the amount of energy they consume. So right. twofold, we're going to get uh, sustainability metrics for reducing landfill, um, but also the spinning down of those fans is saving energy. So um, helping against things like uh, PUE and and making sure that we're uh, we've been as efficient we can with the, the facilities side power. Yeah. yeah. One other thing, 
tenders. Like uh, years and years ago, um, you know, sustainability used to be a, a small uh, section at the bottom of a, of a response for a, a co-location to host a, host a IT facilities of organizations and yeah. and now that has changed you know now it's uh, very much the forefront of those uh, tender responses and and just as simple as replacing an air filter um, really does help to contribute to those metrics yeah, yeah. and I mean as we've said and, and thank you for your answer I mean sustainability is so key but it, it's certainly not your only um, benefit right sure. lots of others which some of which you touched on um, Talk a little bit about that. I know that you have some custom options, some more off-the-shelf options. Talk about the the uh, the mm -hmm. difference in those and what benefits those bring. Sure, definitely. So customization will be a key thing. It's certainly a big part of our initial capability. So um, if you think uh, uh, back to the automotive days, you know when uh, when the first or new cars were coming out, we were designing uh, parts to go in those cars. You know, there's now nine thousand part numbers on the automotive side. We've got about a hundred so far on the on the global filtration side. Um, so we will be building that. So our initial capability will be building out what we would call custom product. But the reality is, it just be will be non-standard at the start as we build up that product portfolio, and then we'll stop in our European warehouse to uh, understand what the demand on those certain parts is going to be. So we'll be super quick then. You know, if someone phones us and say, you know, we've got a, uh, um, a certain fan will uh, manufacture's uh, part, then we can match the part number to the system they've got and we can ship it out very quickly. Right. Yeah. And so, so let's talk more about that then, just yeah. sort of in terms of, we're going to talk more in a second about your global uh, capabilities and offerings, but just, you know, as a lead into that, how do people connect with you in terms of, you know, they have this need for an air filtration solution for their data center? What's next for them? Definitely. So it's, it's, it's fairly simple. So you can you can take out your existing uh, disposable uh, paper and uh, plastic uh, air filter, which will normally go into landfill, replace that with a K&N um, washable reusable filter, um, just the straight swap. So what we need to know is the dimensions, uh, the MERV or ISO rating of that, uh, of that air filter and the quantity you're going to need. We'll put those in and then immediately we'll, we'll see the performance upgrades and, um, and these things will last for up to 15 years. We're saying 15 years. Yeah. I mentioned uh, I mentioned earlier that we were talking. Um, but there's actually an air filter in the in the office in California that, from the automotive side, that's done a million miles. So, wow. you know, we say 15 years, but the reality is these things are going to go much uh, go much longer. longer. Yeah. yeah. Good to be prepared, though, in case, right? For yeah. sure. Yeah. And, and so you're located here in London, yes. right? Yeah. And so you have team uh, in in Europe, team members in Europe obviously also an office in the United States. So, and I mean, which is great, the data center industry, as we know, is global, connectivity is global, everything that we're doing in this space is. And so, and tell us a little bit about that in terms of how you've, how you've come to this global offering and, and what that means for your clients in the industry. Sure, so currently um, engineering is done from California. Um, and manufacturing is done from um, from Texas, so Dallas in Texas. Yeah. Um, we are setting up some uh, some warehousing facilities in um, in EMEA and also in APAC. So um, with uh, me and the, and my colleague at the moment, we are we're setting up the business outside of the U.S. So big focus on the other major markets outside the U.S. APAC and um, EMEA um, being very big focuses for us. Right. Um, and. These are major debt center markets, right? So you know we've uh, we're, we've got some big plans. So the the immediate plans are to make sure that we that we flesh out the team, make sure we hire for the right roles and get the right people in the right places, um, and expand through that. We'll also be looking um, for for partners, both distribution partners and and reselling partners. Certainly in um, the more remote regions, um, regions such as the Middle East and and, and other parts of uh, of Asia, Pat, we'll be looking to sign up some partners into that as well. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Well, Scott. Thank you for joining us. And, yeah. and so for our viewers who may want to connect with you, connect with KNN, how sure. can they go about doing that? Sure. So um, all my details will be available somewhere, I'm assuming, after this. Yeah, or on the screen. Our, yeah. de our details, yeah. yeah. Could you point? Yeah, yeah. right there. So, yeah, yeah we're, we're generally available. If not, you know, I'm on LinkedIn. You know, the, the team are out there. So just sort of reach out and we'll, um, we'll get in contact for sure. Perfect. Thank you yeah. so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank me. you for, I uh, hope we have many more opportunities to have these sorts of conversations on JSA TV. We, we thank you for coming. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.